if you only had enough space to download one production mod for Farming Simulator 22, it's got to be this one. How's it going, everybody? Driver53 here, and today I want to show you the only factory that you are going to need if you're running productions here for Farming Simulator 22. What I've got is the Farm Factory. Now, this is a brand new mod released by Omatana on June 12th, 2023. And it's not just one factory. You've got two buildings, but we're going to focus primarily on this one right here to start with. Once you have the mod downloaded, you come down here to your construction, then you're going to go across to productions. You're going to go down to factories, and then you're going to go across to where all your factories are located at, your mod ones. You're going to come across here to farm factory. Now, as you can see over there on the right hand side, you're going to be able to put a lot of different things into this facility and get a lot of different things out of it. So it's going to go right here. It's going to be $50,000 if you don't need any terraforming at all. It is going to be able to be put anywhere around here. So I've got the snap turned on, or I can do this right here, and it's not going to snap. The one point of interest is here in the front. This is where you're actually going to drop off all of your products and pick up all of your pallets. You get into the menu, come up here to this wrench, and then hit L3. You're going to come up to the production chain menu. As you can see, tons of stuff that you're going to be able to make here. Wheat flour, barley flour, all your different flours, even corn flour here, breads, cakes, sugar beet, um, sugar. You're going to be able to make raisins, grape juice, sunflower oil, canola oil, olive oil, cereal, butter, cheese, all your different types of fabrics. You're going to be able to make clothes. Now, two additional recipes here, and this one are French fries and premium potatoes. Another really interesting thing about a lot of these different ones is I don't know if you can see right here, you got pig food. Yes. 30 pig food per cycle. You're going to be able to get out of the um, recipes that call for potatoes. And if you come up here farther, you can see even with cheese, you're going to be able to get pig food. Butter, same thing. Cereal, you're not. A lot of your oils you are, though. Your grape juice, um, your sugar beet sugar, your flour or your bread, you're going to be able to get a little bit of pig food out of that as well. Even your corn flour. So if you've got a lot of pigs on your farm, but you don't really want to have to get all the root crops and everything like that. I'm going to get pig food just by doing this right here. Once again, it's going to be pretty simple. All you got to do is drop off your products right here. They're going to go into your storage. You've got tons of storage here in this thing. We come across here to the right-hand side. You can see that you're going to be able to store a lot of product here in this facility. 100,000 liters of most of your grains. Corn is 200,000. Um, once you get down to your flour, it's going to hold 200,000 liters for you again to be able to make your cakes and your bread. Um, and that way also, as you're making your wheat, barley, oats, sorghum, and corn flour, it's got a place to be stored at. That's a really, really important thing here. You want to make sure that down here on this bottom portion, you've got this set on spawn. If you want to keep it within the facility. Now, if you turn this on to selling, it's going to sell everything that's in it here at the top of the hour, every single hour when it hits zero, zero on the clock, it's going to sell however much you have stored up in here. Now, if you happen to have another facility that you want to send this to for whatever reason, instead of using this one, go to distributing. That's going to take it out of this facility, distribute it over to the other one, but it is going to charge you. And depending on how close or how far away that facility is, it's going to cost you more the farther away it is. And 50,000 liters may seem like a lot of storage, but on some of these, it's going to go really, really fast and it's going to fill up. I've got a future video I'm going to be putting out on a little bit of a storage hack that you're going to be able to use with this and one of the other mods that's available on the mod hub. Now, there is another part of this mod that I think is like even better than this one factory right here. All right. This might be the one factory to rule them all. You're going to understand here in a minute why I say that. And that is going to be your farm supply factory, not your farm factory, but your farm supply factory. Now, this is going to make a lot of other things for you. I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. Once again, $50,000 to put it down. And the important parts on this one, again, are right up here in the front. This is where you're going to put all of your product in at, and this is where you're going to get it out. No pallets here. It's all coming out of like an auger that's going to go into a trailer. To access the menu, once again, come up here to the wrench, hit L3, and then you can see here we are on the farm supply factory. Now, the first thing you see here is grass hay. Yes, this is going to take your grass and turn it into hay. It's a fermenter for you. So you don't need Omatana's fermenting silo anymore. You can do it right here. Also, TMR, it's going to automatically mix TMR for you. Now, you could do the traditional recipe right here of having hay, silage, and straw, or you could just use hay and silage. No straw needed at all. Or if you want to be a purist and you want that mineral feed, we made that one here for you too. 
And if you are a purist and you want to make your own mineral feed, you've got a couple different recipes here. First one is lime and soybeans. The second one is stones and soybeans. So you could you could take all those stones out of your fields that you're plowing up, bring it over here, put a little bit of soybean in it, have your own mineral feed, and then you go right here to this recipe, and boom, you are good to go. Now, I mentioned earlier that you're going to be able to make your own hay. What about silage? Grass silage, folks. 3,000 in, 3,000 out. You could do the same thing with hay. I don't know why you'd want to do it with hay instead of silage, unless maybe you get some hay bales from a contract. Ooh, that's a really good idea. Jeff, same thing. Straw, yep, you could turn straw straight into silage. Now, if you're a big fan of natural fertilizers, you can make a digestate right here out of grass and water. It's going to give you silage and digestate, or you use chaff and water, and it's going to give you the same thing. So a great way to be able to get a little bit of silage for your feed and then some digestate so you can actually fertilize your fields without having to make any fertilizer. And if you want to be self-sufficient and not have to buy any seeds from the store, well, here you go. Wheat, barley, or corn, you can use any of those products right here to make your own seeds. Now, one thing that I know for sure is corn is a lot higher yield than wheat and barley. So corn is going to be the way to go if you want to make your own seeds. It's a lot higher yield per hectare, so it's going to go a lot farther whenever you're trying to reseed. You got a lot of lime that you need to put down on your fields, but you don't want to go up to the store and spend all that money on it. Well, right here, make your own. Take all the stones, add a little bit of water. You're going to be able to get your own lime. So let's say you decided that you wanted to make a little bit of that digest aid, but now you don't really want to have to get a spreader for it. You'd much rather use a liquid fertilizer. Well, you could do that right here. 3,000 digest aid in, 300 liquid fertilizer out. And if you're not a big fan of liquid fertilizer and you'd like to use something a little bit different like the BAM system from Solar Guy Modding, well, solid fertilizer right here, add a digest aid. Take your digest aid, add a little bit of lime, and you're going to get 300 liters of solid fertilizer. And the last group of recipes here are really awesome because it's going to be able to make pig food for you. I don't know about you guys. I hate having to go over to the uh, pig house of trees and put in just a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. I need a pig food mixer for sure. Omatana has a really, really good one, but I'm so glad she put this one in it right here. As you can see, the first recipe is using corn, barley, canola, and sugar beets. Second is going to be uh, sorghum instead of your corn. Then the third one, you put in potatoes instead of sugar beets, but you're going to have a little bit of soy in this one as well. So one of the few recipes that you actually get to use soy for, but you're still going to need some potatoes. And every once in a while, a farmer needs to buy just a little bit of product to hold them over until their harvest is ready. And that's where another really awesome part of this mod comes in. You're going to go to construction here. Then what you need to do is go over to containers. And then all the way across to the right, you can see the farm supply buying station. You guys are probably used to this from a couple other mods that you can put on your farm to be able to buy directly out of this silo at a little bit of a premium price. So you're going to put it down right here. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it around. So it's going to go straight into my trailer. One really cool thing. I can hit triangle and now there's no longer a collision. So I'm just going to put it down right here. I'm going to hop in it to my truck right here and let's see what all we can buy. Well, you can buy all your wheat, your barley, your oat, canola, sorghum, sunflowers, soybeans, corn, potatoes. Hey, you don't want to grow them. Just here and buy them sugar beets same thing seeds i mean if you don't want to put them over there in the or if you don't want to make them over there in the uh, factory you can get it here too same thing with tmr silage grass solid fertilizer lime pig food straw mineral feed hay manure now i'm sure that you're gonna be able to get some of the other liquid items out of here also just this trailer is set up as a dry goods trailer so i'm pretty sure that you're gonna be able to get those out of here as well and some of these items you're not going to be able to sell anywhere on the map because those sale points don't exist. Well, she gave you a couple of those also. You've got a regular one that you could put kind of in front of anything else that you want to make it look like it's a sell point. Or you can get a little uh, market area right here. And to find those in construction mode, what you need to do is go over to production and then go to selling points and go all the way over to the right. You can see the first one right here, just the general basic one is $100. And then your market area one is going to be $500. So you're going to make your money back quick on these. And one thing I didn't mention a while ago was all the storage capacity in this building right here. So we're going to go up here to the menu, come across over here to the right. And as you can see, most of these have like a 5 million liter capacity, uh, except for digestate. 50 million liters. I don't know who in the world ever makes that much digestate. Holy cow, that is definitely going to fertilize your fields very, very well. But some of these are also half million liters, but I think for what you're making, 
Um, that's very, very reasonable. Um, I, I don't think you're ever going to need 500,000 liters of liquid fertilizer, even in like 100 years of playing the game. What do you guys think? Is this the one factory to rule them all? Or, or two? Let me know down in the comments below if you're going to use this one or how it could be improved. But everybody, that's going to be it for today. If you learned something or enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. If you want to stay up to date on my future mod showcase videos here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell too. And while you're waiting on those future videos, go and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53 signing off.